Hey, America, on a recent trip to the National Rifle Association, I stopped to see a buddy of mine named Charlie, who proceeded to show me a gun that played an important part in American history. It's called the swivel gun. Now, what do we got here? This looks like it's gonna be fun. Well, this is what they call the swivel gun. This was used by the Navy, but also on land. The primary purpose on a ship was if you were about to board it and take that ship as a prize, right. you'd want to clear the decks before your men you know, went over to it. They'll clear your bowels, too. Look Absolutely. at that Absolutely. <laughs> All right, basically the command is tend vent. Tend vent, search the piece. Search the piece. Piece is being searched, Captain. We sponge the piece, stick her in like that. There you go. This Good. end goes in first. OK, this end goes in first. Don't this is actually a piece of sausage wrapped in <laughs> some tin foil. It is flush. OK, now you can ram it home with the uh, sponge. OK. You don't got to ram it hard, just all the way down till it stops. This is basically just uh, hemp rope that's been soaked in saltpeter to make it burn slowly. What's it, uh, what is it uh, soak in? Saltpeter. I knew that. They just wanted to hear him say saltpeter again. You don't get to hear that term much, saltpeter. So after... Uh, that never sounded appetizing to me, saltpeter. <laughs> hey, come on, we're going to have some saltpeter and some Kool-Aid. They used to give it to the sailors so that they wouldn't... Uh, saltpeter? Do uh, untoward things to each other at sea. Wow, so they gave the but, seamen saltpeter. Who that's thought right. that? What are the odds? That's ironic. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Cannons have played a very important role in the history of our country. Back in 1776, George Washington used cannons to drive the British right out of Boston. Basically, the command will be, make ready, and you bring it down and put it just in front of it. Okay. And then on the command fire, oh, just touch it. I need my earplugs. Yes, absolutely. This is probably the loudest thing out here, huh? Yep. You haven't heard me after a buffet. <laughs> Stand right off to the side, get ready, and fire. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that smoke ring. Amazing. You lost your uh, earplug. I, I, that ain't all I lost. <laughs> See, you got to love American history and the firepower that gave us our independence. God bless America. Ain't our country great? <laughs>